Hi folks, I'm Andrew with Viking Electronics and this video will show you how to add remote relay control to your Viking IP phones using the RC-4A. For demonstration purposes, I have the RC-4A and model E-10-IP connected to the same PoE switch on a local area network here at Viking. You can see the RC-4A is powered with the included adapter, network connection is established. Same thing with the E10IP, although it is PoE powered and does not require any additional power source. Let's go to the computer. I'll show you how to set this up in the programming. Go to the vikingelectronics.com webpage. In the search box, type in RC-4A. Scroll down, you'll see products and news. You'll see RC-4A in the product section. Go to the product page, you'll see applications and downloads. And there you can download the RC-4A Discoverer. Do the same thing for the IP programming software. Type in E-10-IP. Click on the product, scroll down, applications and downloads. IP programming software. After the IP programming software is installed, open it and connect to the phone you'd like to program. If this is the first time you're connecting to the phone, you may have an alarm. That is normal until you get the IP server settings entered into the programming software. After you've entered your network information, go to phone settings and set this internal external relay to external and then select the first available relay. In our case, it's relay one. You can apply your settings to save and then open the RC-4A Discoverer. If you have multiple RC-4As on your network, make sure to check the MAC address, which you can find on the RJ45 port on the RC-4A. Access the unit and click login. The default username is admin and the default password is Viking, all lowercase. After you've logged in, click on settings Scroll down to the bottom and click on VoIP Relay. There you'll see a list of phones available on the network. You can identify the one you'd like by MAC address, static IP address, or by the name. Check the box next to your desired phone and hit apply. Now that the E10 IP and the RC4A are both programmed, we can make a test call by pressing the call button. Answer this on our soft phone. Go to the dial pad and hit touch tone star star. And you can see that by triggering the relay on the E10 IP, the corresponding relay on the RC4A activates based on our software settings. If you have questions after watching this video, Viking's contact information is in the description section down below, where you can also find the product manual for the RC-4A. I've got additional videos on the RC-4A as well. You can check out for more learning. I've got a product overview video, as well as a video showing how to program the RC-4A for use with a mobile device like a phone or tablet. Please like the video if you did, and be sure to subscribe to the Viking Electronics YouTube channel. We thank you very much, all of you subscribers out there. I'm Andrew with Viking Electronics. See you next time.